podcast, the podcast that can be a bit of a grave wreck. Every week, Anna and April sit down with a guest, and they use their juicy brains to talk about life, liberty, and the pursuit of all things random. Enjoy the show. Shut up, shut up, and sit down, 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 down. So it occurred to me that because we changed our theme song and it's now way more upbeat, I think we need to go into these podcasts way more upbeat. <laughs> I was listening to the one today and it was like real upbeat and then it kind of tails off and there's just like us like talking at a regular volume and I'm like, that just kind of seems a little bit like a letdown. <laughs> April, thoughts, opinions? <coughs> okay. She's already started recording. <laughs> That's the thing. She she records and she doesn't tell you. That's yeah. why they all start. Mm-hmm. You got to amp up from the beginning, yeah. I guess. Are you going to put headphones on? or? I was waiting for John to make his way all the way upstairs. Oh. Because oh. typically he gets up there <laughs> and then goes, Hey, April! Hey, April! <laughs> uh, yeah, John? What do you need? <laughs> it's not working! <laughs> Did you turn it on? No! <laughs> I turned it on. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? <laughs> How do you do that? Uh, the button? <laughs> it's the button glowing. Okay, push the button. Oh, no, no. See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Play whatever game it is. <laughs> right? So, the roadblock. And then we find out it's, it's GTA Vice City or something. Oh, it's right. <laughs> I beat a prostitute to death today, Mom. <laughs> but she had it coming. Mm-hmm. Bitch tried to take my money. Yep. It'd be horrible to find out that he's a savant at, like, murdering GTA. people. <laughs> yeah. I built a drug empire in 30 minutes. <laughs> You're like, well. He's a real entrepreneurial shit. Yeah. So I guess I gotta support it. Yeah. <laughs> Like, well, your kid's a sociopath, but they're, you know, they've got the mind, a mind for business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they'll be a successful social. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they'll go years without getting caught. Mm-hmm. <coughs> oh, God. Yeah. He's the dammer of his time. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not true. <laughs> I don't mean that. Oh, my God. How come everything April owns has wolves on it? Is she some sort of native and we're not aware, or is she like... She has a very rustic theme happening. Mm -hmm. I sent a video today, and it was a white man rapping about how it's, he's sorry, but don't blame him for racism. (laughs) (laughs) And Jesus Christ, there were so many things wrong with it. Uh, (laughs) I was like... The thing is, is like, Andrew has to understand there's appropriation and appreciation. Mm -hmm. And you can appreciate cultures that aren't yours Mm -hmm. without appropriating them. However, in order to know the difference, you have to take five minutes out of your goddamn life to, like, (laughs) actually think about appropriation versus appreciation. And a lot of people can't do that. Mm -hmm. It's like, you don't have to, you can appreciate hip-hop culture and be a hip-hop artist or get involved with it. Without being a white dude with a grill and dreads rapping about how you're apologizing for your, because you're not racist. It's your, you're not, so your, your ancestors were the ones that lynched people, not you. <laughs> like, I don't think he quite understands. No. Mm-hmm. And heaven forbid a white guy lets someone else be a victim for five minutes. <laughs> he's like standing in the back. He's like, are you done bitching yet? Because I need attention again. <laughs> Can't do it. I hope April's recording this is gold. <laughs> That's it's weird. Do you think today. you can move your? Do you think you can move your seat closer? Is that more comfortable? 
Okay. There you go. It's like yeah. when you try to get into a booth that's too close to the table. Yeah. And you're just like, why? There's some fat guy sitting behind you, and you're like, I can't. Yeah. I can't ask him to move. <laughs> I don't want to start a conflict. I don't mm-hmm. know this person. They could be crazy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of empty glasses on the table, and I don't know what filled them. So. Right? I don't know if he carries a gun. <laughs> this is the world we live in. It is. That's why you got to carry the gun. Yeah. That's that's the NRA opinion. Yep. So you can shoot that fat guy so he moves so you can get in your booth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought he had a gun. It was his cell phone. Well. Jesus. My bad. Da, 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 da. That's to be the NRAs. All their commercials started with like, well, what do you do? Yeah. Bang, bang. Yeah. They shoot him up in the air. And they're all white, too, because, you know. Anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is what happens, April, when you leave. It gets, it gets fun. Yeah. Right? It gets straight up about ra- racial tension in here. <laughs> With all us white women. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, because we're, yeah, us, <laughs> all us white women lecture on racial tension. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Did he say your name again? You need, like, a soundproof room. I know. And either put yourself in it or put Just everyone else him. in it. One of the two. Just for him. Yeah. yeah. He does. He pretends he's doing my our videos all the time. That's fine, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I love him. It's fine. You want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you hear everything, so. Yes, I have on, like, the good headphones. Yeah. Because I was using them earlier. Okay. Good. Okay. Energy. Energy. I'm, energy. I'm, seri- I'm serious with this whole. It just starts off. Energy. Happiness means yeah. energy. Woo. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Zombies. <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about. <coughs> Was this coughing, chewing on her pistachios? I won't. Stu- I can't stop the coughing, but I won't chew on my. Stachios. I've never had a pistachio, but I don't really? think I'd like them. No, you either I've do tried- or you don't. Yeah. I'm well, very I'll try dry one. nut. I'll- okay. Will you listen to? It's kind of buttery. To yeah. me, it's a buttery nut. Well, I guess peanut butter is yeah. a buttery. A buttery nut? Yeah. Buttery nut. Okay. I'll get that nice crunch in there. Lip smack. <laughs> I mean, it's all right. Ter- yeah, they're not terrible. They're they're less, um, there's like more substance to them than a regular nut. They're not as dry. Mm-hmm. Are you reviewing pistachios for the internet? I am. <laughs> I, can you imagine a podcast where I eat food and review it? <laughs> There's a podcast where pe- they go to re- chain restaurants and then talk about it, <laughs> but I don't never listen to it, so I don't know if they actually like eat onto the podcast or if I they've eaten and not. then now talk about it. But it's like they go to like Chili's and like Applebee's and stuff. Not even like like one you know Zagat level should restaurant. Should do a Mom mini- and pop shops. That'd be better. Right, uh-huh. diners and whatnot. All those yeah. places like people who go around and do all the, like the hidden gems of like mm-hmm. this diner's been owned for 50 years but it's in the middle of nowhere kind of thing mm-hmm. so no they go to like yeah. burger king and shit mm. and they're like wow the chicken fries are good if you're stoned <laughs> <laughs> uh, no i did just listen to one of the podcasts that i listen to on and off because it's each topic is very random of whether i'll enjoy it they did a whole episode where they reviewed taco bell <laughs> including the nacho fries so it's literally them eating taco bell and talking about how it's the most amazing food they've ever eaten oh and yeah, I'm like I don't have a sophisticated palate by any means, but if you're eating Taco Bell, like it's you know, yeah, and you're not drunk or stoned, then right? Something yeah, wrong with you. if you're not like extremely hungry <laughs> and it's the cheapest massive quantity of food you can mm-hmm. get into your gullet, then mm-hmm. reevaluate some things. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> and I finally had their fries. Yeah, they're just like fries it's, with taco seasoning, right? And you dip them in nacho sauce? They're just fries. Yeah, they're pretty like much. Fries. Yeah. You could get I'm seriously, you could go to any place and it's going to taste the same. Yeah. All you need is the melted you cheese. You go to like the the frozen food section, you get those like Arida flavored yeah. ones in the bag and you cook those at home and you dip them in nacho cheese. Yeah. Same thing. Mhm. Can we skip same the thing. dipping in nacho cheese cuz that's the part I don't like. Well, if you if you skip <laughs> dipping in nacho <laughs> cheese, then, delicious. then a lot of your night other a lot of your Taco Bell me- meals are off the table cuz a lot of them are just like <laughs> there's only seven ingredients in the whole restaurant and they, have and to... they made a whole like all that yeah. stuff out of it. 
like 20 things on them. Oh, I had the, um, I shouldn't be throwing shade because, like, I had Taco Bell this morning for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I had the crunch, the breakfast oh, crunch wrap. Liz said it was really good. It's literally, so it's a tortilla, right? Mm-hmm. But they, they wrap and grill, like a panini style where they press mm-hmm. it. But it has uh, cheese, uh, egg, and they just put the hash brown in there. Yeah. And it's just all in one. It's all in one. Yeah, no, it's the fucking and it comes to the side. Of, it comes to the side of two Cinnabon, Cinnabon circle thingies. Yeah, they need oh. more of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could just put them in the wrap. Right? Like half brown. Just wrap it. What was uh-huh. that SNL skit where it was like a taco inside a pizza deep oh, yeah. fried? It came in like a commemorative, com- tote, bag. commemorative tote bag filled with salsa and pico de gallo or something. Yeah. yeah. Taco town. Yeah. Taco town. <laughs> yeah. Zombies. 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 Yeah, that was what we were supposed to be talking about. Yes. Now. And Zombies. I know we're, we're on a time crunch because April has plans, so we can't just dilly-dally doddle. Like what? we've been doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More so, because we can... Sorry. We can talk shit for most of the episodes, so... <laughs> That's true. April, you wanted to do zombies today. Why don't you explain some of your reasoning behind that? I don't know. Really? <laughs> the one subject that we haven't The reason touched. behind it? I don't know. Well, like, what, what spoke? In my did mind. you watch a zombie movie recently? Have you read a book? Or did you just... Uh, you see a meth head on the street and you're like, we should do a topic on zombies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just randomly popped into my head. Or I think I was... look. I think it was for one of the, like, last week's... Technically, last week's episode um, on conspiracies. And w- uh, one of the conspiracies was that document that came out from the Pentagon that like the Pentagon has a, a um a plan for like a zombie invasion okay or something like that so I started researching that and looking at reading that and looking into that and now you're on someone's list now I'm on someone's <laughs> list the company I work for has an official document on what to do if there's a they call it a viral outbreak but it's <laughs> essentially if zombies yeah happen. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like, it's supposed to be a joke, but it is an official document that we have to know. Huh. Really? Yeah. It tells you how you have to, you have to evacuate well, the store and what, uh, if their employees are still clocked in, then you're responsible for their lives, so you have to make them clock out. <laughs> <laughs> first things first, clock out. Did yeah. you know, fun <laughs> side fact, that the members of the staff of the Titanic, their pay was immediately stopped when the iceberg hit the ship? Oh, I thought you were going to say our zombies now, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no, it doesn't come that much around. I just, I just thought that was interesting that they had a clause where if your if your boat is in distress, you're immediately stopped paid, even though they still expect the band literally played till it sank. If they anything, they should have gotten paid. Yeah, yeah. Right? until it hit the bottom. Exactly. People need to go over that spot and just chuck in chains. Right. Uh-huh. Thank you for your service. <laughs> uh, well, oh my gosh, no. Um, I was listening to uh wine and I've been binge listening to Wine and Crime. Uh huh. It's three friends from Minnesota, and they it's you have me. Listen I don't to even them. Care. Yeah. Minnesota. You listen to the Minnesotan accents yeah. oh, talking God, about that. all sorts of crimes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lit- and they drink he wine. He to death with a machete. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> they drink wine and get, like, progress- progressively more drunk throughout right. the episode. But um, one of them, she went, she was in Las Vegas mm-hmm. at the time of the shooting. Yeah. And she was in that area, so she, like, with a bunch of other people ran into a casino and the casino workers mm-hmm. they're not if there's an active shooter they have to stand at the table like, at their spots what? like they can't they run, can't run and duck for cover are you kidding or something. me they have to stand there and to like guard the money the money so uh, people don't yeah but i mean it's like they can't even like shooting and you can't like duck or they're not going to give you a fucking bulletproof vest oh, or some I shit will throw no, the money yeah, they at have that to, like, shooter and run away they have to just right. like stand there and, they like, should put them in those like bulletproof boxes like they do at gas stations but they have to like <laughs> so they like have them everything behind the bulletproof and they like deal the cards out through the little slot uh-huh. under the table that's how they should do them mm-hmm. but yeah then like after it was all cleared they had to like they stood there until they got the all clear then they just like packed up all the money Jeez. But, I mean, I yeah. get it, casino, your money's important, but Jesus Christ. It's like a Disney World where they, uh, the characters can't take off their No matter heads, what. No they matter if they're what. dying of heat exhaustion. Mm-hmm. They could be well, on fire and they gotta a keep lot that of head on. There's dirty secrets to keep that place the happiest place on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, family should have fun, so if you have to die, that's a sacrifice we're willing to make. <laughs> they have an army of feral cats they release at night to catch the vermin. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh and there's this my favorite d- right? fact. What about the underwear that the costumes you have to wear, like, they give you, un- like, everything to wear for the costume, including underwear. 
Really? Yeah. Like, you have to wear designated Disney uh, attire. Everything Disney. Man, that's like brainwashing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's essentially... I'm starting to believe, like, coming back around to the subject, I'm starting to believe that a viral uh, outbreak is not so (laughs) far-fetched. No. (laughs) Like, all you need is the one zombie, and then we're all disgusting, so it's gonna spread. And can you imagine, because there's been ones where it's like... Ran, like a lot of zombie movies and zombie stories are like people in random like they're just their regular lives but can you imagine if something like that happened and if it was like if it caught as quickly as like it does in fiction like where it's mm-hmm. like instantaneously it catches like in a matter of minutes mm-hmm. if you were in a location like a theme park how fucked you'd be oh god because yeah. there's people yeah. everywhere mm-hmm. it'd be like I'm surprised that hasn't been a setting for a zombie movie yet people being like they did Disney what kind of zombie the, land well the end of zombie but that was after it had already happened and they went to the theme park well, you don't have any survivors, oh. probably, at that point. Yeah. It's not a real upbeat story. That's true. If the little kid waiting for, you know, Thunder Mountain dies. <laughs> they did, do that, they did do that entire movie um, the I called Cooties, where it's a zombie virus, but it's only little kids. Yeah. And they have to, like... From the, yeah, from the mutated chicken nugget yeah. <laughs> thing. And what? the teachers have to find a way to, 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 take, to keep it with... Um, to keep it before the parents start picking the kids up from take school. Take the kids to the mountain and throw them in the lava. Oh no! Wait, sorry, wrong That's, movie. Yeah, they have, to, they have to take the kids to Mordor. <laughs> Elijah Wood has done other movies. Ooh, or no. what about the kids? But their the, their bro- their ha- step brother is evil and he throws kids into the ice. That's the good son. I'm just trying not hybrid Elijah Wood <laughs> zombie movies. Oh yeah. <laughs> They throw the sack over the edge of the bridge and pretend it's a person, so it causes the car crash. Uh huh. Then he sails off on a raft down the river with a black man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I remember that film. Or the yeah, one where there's an ice storm. <laughs> I don't think a lot happened in that movie. Just there was an ice storm. I think I don't even know if there Christ- was an ice storm. Christina Ricci showed her vagina to him. That was... <laughs> They yeah. were swingers. So zombies. <laughs> so zombies. <laughs> right? Government document. Oh, you mean we zombies. don't want to continue covering the filmography of Elijah Wood? <laughs> fine, fine. Another episode, then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cover that next time. Right. Uh, well, no, the government document that everyone was kind of laughing or freaking out about, It's it was uh, admittedly a fake where it was done as a uh, training thing for uh-huh. how, like how to get people to training agency people to write um plans for yeah. stuff but i mean it's pretty like in depth it has like plans on how the government will respond mm-hmm. and like they'll break it down into certain right. like there's a defensive section of the government there'll be an offensive section It'll be a quarterback I, and a tight a end. Quarterback, tight end, <laughs> special teams. I want teams. them to have a plan. I want our government yeah. to have a plan for, for whatever everything. ridiculous thing is going to happen. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it sounds like it's just like protect themselves and then just yeah. like fuck everyone else. Well, yeah, it pretty that much is. That is our is. government. Even though. in yeah. any movie, that's, that's kind of how it currently. is. Yeah. Yeah. It always takes the rogue scientist played by Brad Pitt to figure out the cure because nobody wants the cure. They just want to get rid of them. It's the common cold. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like AIDS. It doesn't attack anybody <laughs> no, who's they already give Brad Ill. Pitt AIDS to save the world. <laughs> I thought that's what he gave himself like AIDS or cancer or something. No, it's any disease because yeah. it doesn't want a, a sick body. It wants a healthy one, which begs the, the question, how many people really become zombies? Because you think of how many people are sick. And they always say STDs <laughs> are real rampant. Yeah, like STD, because you have ones that aren't like life threatening, but they're still around, like STDs mm-hmm. or like, yeah, common colds. Or... What if you just have like flat feet or something that <laughs> really isn't like a sickness, but it does get you, you out a of spot like, on your lung, duty. anything that, so you can't the get a zombie into the looks at you and goes, like, like, like a pacemaker, probably. Yeah, the zombie, yeah. zombie. The zombie runs up to you and goes, Ugh, and just grabs your shoe and looks at your fingers. <laughs> yeah. The, zombie, the, feet, zombie's no. like the, <laughs> the zombie's like the draft board in the 1960s. <laughs> Because they're like, oh, you're a homosexual, and then they walk away. <laughs> like, nope, not interested. Man, that's some prejudiced zombies, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, in the go- in the document, they did list like a bunch of different types of zombies there could be. Uh huh. So there's like the good old pathogenic, pathogen, pathogenic zombie. I thought pathogenic was like his nickname. It's <laughs> <laughs> good old Pat. Pathogenic. Pat. Pat zombie. <laughs> Is it a male zombie? Is it a female zombie? Who knows? <laughs> Do you remember Pat? Yeah. Yeah. Are you a man or a woman? I love Pat. Are you a brother or a sister? I'm yeah. an only child. <laughs> Why do I remember the movie Pat? Why? It was so ridiculous. Oh, jeez. Mm. 
there's the pathogenic zombies, which are just viruses or bacteria, radiation zombies mm-hmm. from like nuclear explosions. Mm-hmm. Right. They have a um, a plan for evil magic zombies, oh. basically like oh, voodoo, kind of like voodoo voodoo zombies. the actual zombies. definition of a zombie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, space Bill zombies, Pullman. weaponized zombies. They have the rage, rage zombies yeah. from Twenty Eight Days Later because they're my favorite. No, I, those ones scare me the most because they're like they're agile, they're tough, they're, they're still fast. technically alive. Mm-hmm. It's not like yeah. they're dead. They're just whereas really like angry. the reanimated uh, Romero ones are really slow, and mm-hmm. you could probably really fight. But then you, you know. do get all the ones popping out of graves. That's true. So there's more zombies in Did that. Did that case. movie mm-hmm. imply that anyone who was dead would come back as a zombie? Like the first one, because the first one it's airborne. I don't mm-hmm. know about the sequels; they have various reasons. But the first one it's airborne, which means anyone who's dead or I don't know if it's freshly dead like you have to be I would think they'd have to have, yeah. be like recently dead yeah okay. you would have to have like you know, otherwise you have like at skeletons least your hands would have to work in order to, to get you out of the, the grave. Yeah, so you think there's a bunch of zombies stuff. who aren't like fresh enough like trying just, to get through the floor yeah, of the like, grave yeah, like, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just rolling yeah. around in their graves that doesn't sound pleasant well, to them well as we know being dead hurts this is yes. comical that's why they eat brains yeah that's why they eat brains because it makes them hurt this less return of the living what? dead you've ever oh, seen yeah. part two I think it's just the return of the first totally. Return of the Living Dead. I get them mixed up because it's the same cast. It is legitimately the same yeah. cast in the in the, se- the movie and the sequel, and they play different characters. And there's a line in the second movie where they go, "Doesn't this seem familiar?" Yep. And the other one's like, "Yeah, it does, doesn't it?" Yeah. And there's a Michael Jackson thriller zombie who pops up. They did not pay for the rights to use, but yep, somehow never got sued. So. Yeah. Of course, he's supposed to be like, I think, somewhere in a suburb in Illinois as a zombie, too, which does not make sense. No. If Michael Jackson's a zombie. He's not in suburban <laughs> Illinois. Right. I always thought that about that episode of um, that, uh, The Simpsons where they have one of the Halloween one where it's Dial Z for zombie and all the zombies come back. But oh. there's like, there's like, um, Zombie Ham Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, zo- like Abraham Lincoln and like zombie Hitler. And I'm like, why are they all in Springfield? That's where they all got there. <laughs> That's where everyone goes. Yeah. Apparently. I think Springfield suburb- or, or is um, purgatory. Purgatory. And they're all dead somehow. <laughs> is, that a, is that a Simpsons theory? Probably. There's, I've never heard of it. A lot of there's a theory it, that good. there's a theory that Homer's dead. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's a kind of zombie related, but not a lot. So <laughs> move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, they also list vegetarian zombies. Where they, instead of, like, being, they're not a threat to people, uh-huh. they eat just vegetar- veg- just vegetation. Eat forests? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were so going like to say they, they only would. eat vegetarians. So beavers? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Do they have to be human? But they'll eat, like, all, yeah, they're human zombies, but they just eat, uh, well, now I, I've never thought trees about and plants so and they'd vegetarians be... being a threat before, but now I'm really right. worried about yeah. this. So they'd be, so they'd be, they'd be panda bears, because panda bears, as bears, Originally, are supposed to be carnivores, but they're developed into herbivores. But because their body still craves the nutrients of meat and doesn't get it through bamboo, it's why they're constantly eating because mm. the they're constantly animal. hungry mm. because they don't have enough nutrients in their body. And they're not smart enough to eat the person that, that that's taking care of them. Apparently not. Mm-hmm. The one panda bear like wised up <laughs> and like ate meat and just like ruled all the pa- other bears. Right. <laughs> Became the um, Caesar Kung of Pan- the pandas. Yeah. yeah. Learned Kung yeah, Fu. It's just Planet of the Apes, but with Yeah, I don't bears. think it would be Jack Black, <laughs> but maybe. Maybe. Uh, but the, biz- the biggest distinction between the vegetarian zombies and regular zombies is that while regular zombies go brains, the vegetarians will go grains. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the document. Oh. For real. <laughs> Oh my god. And that right there sealed it. It's like, oh, this is legit. How many millions of dollars did our government spend on this document? Oh. <laughs> millions that they didn't spend on our health care. Mm-hmm. Um, There's still dirty water all over Flint. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But hey, this is worth a chuckle, right? Um, and then apparently there's also chicken zombies. Uh-huh. Where uh, apparently it's a real documented thing, oh, where can... they people incorrect or er, uh, improperly euthanize chickens uh-huh. with uh, carbon monoxide, and so they put all the chickens in a pile, and then a couple days later, some chickens will just like pop up uh-huh. and be alive again, hmm. be wandering around until they die of organ failure. Yeah, and I have heard you can cut if you cut off a chicken's head at the right spot, it has enough spine i guess to keep living mm-hmm. yeah to react without having to so you don't cut brain. it off at the real yeah yeah there was a chicken to, like, famously who, who lived for i want to say it's like it was like four or five months after its head was cut off and they fed it with an eyedropper and then it Whoa. tried to eat 
like the corn and it, the corn kernel got stuck. That's how it ended up dying. <laughs> it choked on a corn kernel. I mean, it is in the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> oh, my, oh my gosh. God. Yeah. Right? Us against the chickens. Right? I thought yeah. you were going to say it's from eating uh, bad chicken and you become a zombie. Because oh. I'd buy that shit. It's like, sal- it's like salmonella mm-hmm. induced zombieism. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Zombism. Yeah. Could be, Zom- yeah. What is what is when you are turned the act of being a zombie? Zombified. Zombification. 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 But, but zombie if zombieism isn't a thing. That sounds like a word. Zombieism sounds like like trying to get the vote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's the registered zombie. Zomb- yeah. vote. Uh, vote. Vote yeah. for brains. <laughs> Brains. I'll give you yeah. all the brains. <laughs> it's like we're here. We're zombies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they never got the rhyme thing down, but they don't care. Well, anyway, it's the spirit that counts, right? Right. and they show up in droves. <laughs> Mostly because of the fresh brains. A, a, a murder of zombies. A col- what do you, you call a large group of zombies? Um. A clusterfuck of zombies. (laughs) (laughs) An oh shit of zombies. I like a clusterfuck of zombies. zombies. (laughs) How many do you think there are? Tagline and patent. Yeah, right? It's like, you think there's a group, a hovel? Nope. A clusterfuck of zombies. zombies. (laughs) Damn. One of my favorite scenes in all zombie movies is the scene in the remake of Dawn of the Dead. Where they're on the roof and the dude across, and they're trying to communicate with the dude across the gun shop mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with signs, and they hold up a sign with the name of a celebrity like Burt Reynolds, and he finds the zombie in the crowd that looks like Burt Reynolds and shoots him. So they're, like, they're picking <laughs> yes! off zombies based on what fa- like they're like like um, like janky uh, Dolly Parton, and so it's like a, it's a kind of a, zom- do- a zombie Dolly Parton, but looks really off, and they like start shooting all the semi celebrity zombies that are in the crowd. I like that scene a lot. That would oh be a gosh. lot different because well, now we have drones. Yeah. Could have just solved a lot of problems. Do you ever think, because that movie was made, what, 2007 or something? 2006? Yeah. Do you ever think of, like, I mean, granted, that's all, that's 10 years ago, but how differently that would be now? Like That's true. No one really, like... Like, it's easy to go back and watch, like, the original Night of the Living Dead and think, oh, that was the 60s. Things would be a lot different. Now you have, you don't have to rely on your, your core, your home phone... Having served, you know, there's like things mm-hmm. you can do, mm-hmm. but like to go back to a movie that's like ten years old and be like, oh well, this would be different and this would be different, and mm-hmm. then, you know, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I guess it depends on how widespread the outbreak would be mm-hmm. as to how um, how it was dealt how with? retroactive we would have to be uh-huh. dealing yeah. with stuff. Well, I mean, okay, yeah. Well, what what's the difference now? But um, then what it was like ten years ago, or mm-hmm. you know. The first Night of the Living Dead. Right. Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. All right. They didn't have a lot of technology. They didn't have a lot on phone systems. So. Less semi-automatic Well, they rifles. run. Yeah. Well, they, they run to a mall, which now would not do you very much good at yeah, all, because there's, there's not a lot in a mall. Yeah. There's no food there, at least. Right? I feel like maybe more people would survive now, just because there's been so many zombie movies. Could be. A so it's of, like, oh, that Kate thing's not to do. Would, I think you people could... would be much more apt to believe something like that mm-hmm. was happening than maybe used to, like, that mm. idea that that's a possibility, I think, would hit people quicker. Yeah, they'd see someone eating someone else, and mm. they'd be like, oh, zombie. Yeah. Then run. It would depend on how resilient well, a zombie is. they think bath salts. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's that guy had they... a lot of bath salts. Yeah. There's so... Yeah, they thought he was, like, a zombie because oh, yeah. it was mm-hmm. someone on like bath salts. eat someone's face. Yeah. Yeah. And it was Florida. If zombie's gonna start somewhere, it's, <laughs> it's gonna Florida. be Florida. Florida. We should have yeah. a contingency plan where we, like... To, like um, explode are the border lines or something and float it out into the Caribbean. Yeah, just kick it out. <laughs> Bye, there. Florida. You're Good on luck, your own Cuba. Now. Suck it. Take yeah. it back to Cuba. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why, like in um, the 28 days, 28 weeks later series, it kind of I don't want to use the term. It's kind of a perfect situation for that to occur because they're literally on an island. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, my argument, because I like the sequel 28 Weeks Later better than the original. I mean, the original's good, but I like the sequel because I like to see how they've adapted, right? Mm-hmm. And the idea that they, like, choose much later to, like, firebomb the whole place, mm-hmm. I think yeah. they would do that, like, they'd, I think they'd evacuate as many people as they could, and then they just, like, firebomb the entire yeah. island. I don't, I don't think they'd I mean, wait 28 weeks. In the fake document it seems like they wait they have like they outline the phases of everything and it seems yeah. like they wait a pretty long time before they finally well, they start like... bringing people in is the thing is because at the beginning of 28 weeks later they they're they the two kids have been 
in mainland Europe at like camp somewhere mm-hmm. and they physically are bringing people back which means that they're ready to reestablish everything I don't think they, they do that yeah, before they it's fire real sloppy because mm-hmm. they haven't checked the rest of the country no they anything. just kind of block out a certain area and they're like well everything else we haven't had any major attacks so we're sure everything that's the thing in zombie movies is mm-hmm. they like they they take a city or an area and they just build a wall over it <laughs> and they say like oh nothing can get in and I'm like no is that's not you're setting yourself up for issues later I'm mm-hmm. just saying like mm-hmm. except mm-hmm. like with the uh, what was that World War Z where they could like pile up and climb yeah. walls oh, they yeah. were super tall they, yeah. they work together they yeah. don't do mm-hmm. that in a lot of zombie movies mm-hmm. it's yeah. usually every zombie for themselves right Yes. Do you like slow zombies, or what do you think would be more probable, slow zombies or fast zombies? Slow zombies, you tend to have more of them. Uh-huh. Because they tended to be just, like, anything that even has any, like, muscle left is, like, edging its way towards you. Mm-hmm. But fast zombies tend to, like, surprise you, video yeah. game style. Mm-hmm. Well, like, it's like you said, Jean, where it's like, um, what type of zombie virus is it? Because mm-hmm. if it, like, literally they call it the rage virus because it's, they're human, they're still living, but they're just being taken over and it's causing this hyper aggression, mm. which is causing them to want to be violent and faster. Right. Whereas like your Romero zombies are literally dead people who are coming back to life. And if your body's decomposing or your body's dead, you're not going to be able to do a lot physically with it, mm-hmm. which is why I think in a Romero situation, your best bet would be to go north to where it's colder and just wait it out. Because they wouldn't mm. be able to deal with drastic temperature change, which means they wouldn't survive in a cold climate very long. Mm-hmm. And it would only be a matter of time if their bodies are decomposing where they physically, would, after a while, will fall apart and couldn't. As long as they're not getting nutrients or whatever brains are supposed to do to their body to keep them. I assume it's keeping them going. But what mm-hmm. if it's like a night, a return of the night of the living dead scenario where like any little small, because like, they have like half a dog and a display case. Oh, that's case true. That is still technically alive because it's inhales the zombie it's the tissue you reanimates the mm. tissue or something so it doesn't yeah. need a brain or anything so whatever tissue was left would just be like yeah like just his finger crawling across to eat you <laughs> that would be really annoying because yeah. you would never be able to fully rid the world of zombies oh, which would be, like, be my goal in a zombie it'd be like outbreak bugs so. only the bugs are like parts of people yeah like just, just crawling and you like you like turn around instead of seeing a spider you see like a hand and you're like god damn it and you <laughs> get your shoe Could out you fly swatter yeah <laughs> In that case, if you, like, lost a hand, would your hand then also be a zombie? Yeah, like, your hand your would be hand a zombie? Your hand would be attacking you as Whoa. a zombie. Well, that's what happened in, uh, da- uh the... That was demons. Evil Dead? Oh. That was a demon. That was a demon, not a zombie. Not the same thing. Okay. Technically several demons, but we'll let it go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. I've always been really concerned. Concerned. Uh, <laughs> when you watch a zombie movie and they like okay like Shaun of the Dead where they like Dylan Moran gets chucked out the window and they're like ripping him apart and he's screaming at some point in that process he becomes a zombie because you see him walking around later. yeah 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 mm-hmm. at what point in that process do they stop eating him right is it when he becomes a zombie that is a good point in because which case he would just he... have to be de- he'd have to be so they'd start ripping him apart I assume it would take a moment for him to actually die yeah, from would, like bleeding out yeah, or, whatever. Shock or whatever shock yeah. So then once he died, he once he was dead, then he would have to become a zombie, which means they wouldn't... Yeah, they wouldn't be interested anymore. Yeah. But that that's like the main food source, then it has a limited... Yeah, it'd like, be like you can eat, but you only have 10 seconds to do it. Yeah. Maybe it has to be like living tissue, so as soon as like the oxygen stops going oh, to Oh, so your like skin, his body has to start... Yeah, so as soon as like... Uh-huh. It's... There's gotta be some... Maybe that's... Some logistics of it. Yeah. Well, but obviously he's walking around, which means they didn't take too long for him to become a zombie because yeah. they didn't. Do, and they like ripped his middle bits out. But mm-hmm. I mean, I, he's wearing a shirt, so you can't tell like what's going on underneath. Mm-hmm. But Still it's totally dead. I'm loved him more. <laughs> Even as a zombie. Even as a zombie. <laughs> well, like that's always too the plausibility of like, can you like, can a physical hand rip into a chest like that? I don't know if I believe that. Even if it has some sort of weird zombie... I mean, they did it on Mythbusters. You can. I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> is like, I don't want to tell you details, but I know for a fact, firsthand, that you can do that. <laughs> you can. <laughs> With enough force behind anything, you can rip into your own flesh. I mean, I've seen a video of a uh, man's head being... Hold apart. Are you watching? You on? Are you on the dark web? Watching that. (laughs) So there's this website. It's like a fifty-fifty thing. So you have a fifty-fifty percent chance of like seeing something really horrible or something really cute. I think you're on the dark web. 
You're on someone's you're gonna list. Get a, yeah, you're going to get you're on, on a list. list. The dark web. Yeah. There's nothing you good need, from the dark you need web. To, uh, you need to leave, Liz. <laughs> we cannot be yeah. affiliated. We the the views, cannot be affiliated the, with you it's anymore. On, it's the like past times, the past <laughs> times partaken by guests of this podcast. <laughs> Pod crash has now <laughs> denounced Elizabeth. <laughs> We have no She's affiliation. Like, no, it's just a website where you pay money and they kill somebody on a camera. No, <laughs> but there could also be a kitten in the background. You don't know. Sometimes they kill a kitten. It's a 50 50 chance. chance. Oh, no. If they would kill a kitten, she'd be like, you know, all up prisoner is getting his head scraped out by other inmates or a really cute puppy See, in a basket. the fact that you can even show that even just, on the internet makes me think that it's not. Just Google mm. puppy in a basket? Like, do you need well, the chance? Do you, you buy it to gambling? I wouldn't Google puppy in anything because you're not going to get stuff you want to see. You combine it with, like, a shot and then you make a drinking game out of it. Oh, it's something horrible, you take a shot. Oh, it's something cute, you, you don't. take a shot. I have a, yeah. drink, <laughs> I have a really good drinking game. Yeah. Okay, so if you have a bad day at work, uh-huh. you come home and you drink. Oh. That's my drinking game. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have enough That's bad days, you awesome become an alcoholic. Yep. And that clears right up. Yep. I always like to play the board game of life where if you, something terrible happens to you, you take a shot like you would in normal life. <laughs> so it's like taxes due. Glug, glug, glug. glug. Twins. Glug, 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 glug. Yeah, I guess it t- some it's of like it depends double. on what you feel. Get married. Uh, glug, glug, glug. glug. Yeah. Early Shot. loss of bladder control. Drink. Yeah. <laughs> Should totally make a new like mm-hmm. a new life game, which is horrible things that can happen yeah. to you. Just like it's malignant. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> Shotgun wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, zombies. <laughs> zombies. 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 So, uh, what's your uh, what's your favorite? If you had to pick just one of your favorite zombie movies, what would it be? I mean, I haven't seen too many, so really my favorite is uh, Zombieland. Okay. I like that. And one. what is it particularly about Zombieland that you like? The rules. Oh, how they're very strategic about... Yeah. They, they make a lot of valid points. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You really the does. The rules are He's... just how the rules are, like, in the movie. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. Where a sign is, like, the something swinging back and forth is a rule, and then yeah. it falls down. Yeah. Some, but... And then they, they reference it later where he's like double tap and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Best ways to kill the zo- zombie or best kill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a more lighthearted zombie movie. Right. Yeah. He's looking for a Twinkie. Just, mm-hmm. just wants his Twinkie. Just wants a Twinkie. Doesn't want snowballs. Right? <laughs> Fucking snowballs. <laughs> Twinkies. That don't hit the taste, just the consistency. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Liz, what about you? What's your favorite zombie movie? Um... I mean, Zombieland is up there. I like that. But you took that. Uh, so probably Shaun of the Dead. So you like the I funny like, ones. I like the funny ones. I like, I mean, it has its light moments, but then it's also still dealing with something that's kind of scary zombies. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's just funny. Yeah. I like how in the beginning he's... It takes him so long to realize people are zombies, which I yeah. think is so, like, it's funny, but I think it's really poignant to be like, how long would it take you if you were in mm-hmm. your own world? And you weren't, like... I like how nothing changes yeah. after, at the yeah. end of the movie. Nothing has it is, changed. It is one of those rare zombie movies that it actually has a definitive ending. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I day, like that about it. moments of Z-Day, where they, like, refer mm-hmm. to, like, the event, but mm-hmm. then the, them trying to figure it out, like, it was yeah. a one-off thing. My, my, my husband's a zombie on Trisha. Yeah, weird. yeah. How do you feel about that? And they found a place for them to work for, so they're, like, pushing carts uh-huh. through a thing, and they're just, like, all zombie <laughs> His friends, they play video games. Yeah. 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 It's so good. It is a good movie. What about you, Jeannie? I, I don't know if I can do just one. I like the Return of the Living Dead series as a whole. There's yeah. like, well, I think there's like seven of them, but like the first, I would say three are fun. Are very, because I like that sort of just everybody freaking out and dying yeah. in my horror movies. <laughs> yeah. I don't need a definitive hero. I don't need like a definitive right. ending. I just need crazy shit happening and people getting ripped apart by zombies. That's yeah, it. That's right. Yeah. And they're also like, they know they're stupid, so they're, they don't take themselves too seriously which i like in a movie right mm. right but you still have really good performances because those actors know what they're doing yeah mm-hmm. which yeah i just i think it's a good series mm-hmm. maybe not when you get to like when they have zombie raves in the further yeah uh, Ra- films but rave of the dead or yeah, rave of the dead and then in the necronomic 
Necronomicon. It's some type yeah, of they like yeah. the title it's just search. A giant necronomicon. <laughs> I like giant. Return of the Living Dead <laughs> and Return of the Living Dead Part Two because mm-hmm. I think the more words you can fit into your title, yeah, it's the higher quality of that film. <laughs> yeah. If I could watch those on like the same sc- like a half split screen at the same time, I think that would yeah. be my favorite. Yeah, plus movie. the soundtrack <laughs> to the Return of the Living Dead. It's been so long since I saw this Part Two, but Return of the Living Dead soundtrack. Is so good because it it's just really 80s fun. hair metal, yeah. but like mm-hmm. not quality 80s hair metal, but like C grade 80s hair metal. Mm-hmm. That like they like let some they're like, hey, my brother's friend has a band in LA. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Let's put them on the soundtrack. My favorite thing about that movie is probably the ending because like all this bad shit stuff happens and they're trying to get back to like the container that originally contaminated them to get the 1 800 number to call to be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Please call this number. And they yeah. finally call, and they're like, mm hmm, and it's government agency, and they make a call here, and the guy's like, mm hmm, mm-hmm. and then you just see a button, and the, the town just explodes. Yeah. <laughs> they're just like, fuck it. Just... They just bomb the whole town because yep. they're like, oh, how long is this? But oh, for like 12 hours? Yep. Okay. Like, That's they realize. The <laughs> oh they're gosh. like, That's the contingency plan. We're just going to kill everyone. Yeah. Cool. Which is why in the second one, it's the completely different characters, uh-huh. even though it's the same cast. Because mm-hmm. you couldn't bring back any of the characters. <laughs> they were already dead. Yeah. I think it takes place at the same time in a different location. Oh, like but in the same town? Yeah, because it's the same well, barrel sense. with the 1-800 number on it. Yeah. That they're transporting in both of them. The one that's in the basement of a... A some, medical supply place. A medical place. supply place. <laughs> Which just has a bunch of cadavers everywhere because you know zombies. It's like movies. a seventeen-year-old kid, and he gets a job on his first day at the medical supply place. And the dude he's working for goes, "Hey, you want to see something?" Uh huh. And it's like a barrel with a zombie in it. And yeah. Like, That's pretty cool. What does this do? And it like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it sprays them both in the face, and then they just get zombier and zombier as the- zombier. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And um and then meanwhile his friends who are just waiting for him to get out of work because they're his ride are just partying in the cemetery like you do. Yeah, that's next door to the medical supply place this town is not the highest quality of town no (laughs) you could have told me it was filmed like in downtown detroit i'd believe you it's just a documentary yep oh geez (laughs) (laughs) um i like i of course i love i of course i love Shaun of the dead it's one Mm -hmm. of my it's if not my favorite movie one of my all-time favorite movies I don't know, though, if the zombie element of I love as much as it's just that it's, like, funny and Simon Pegg and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the original Night of the Living Dead just because it's kind of, for me, the structure of what a zombie film is. I like my zombies slow. I like them dumb. Right. I mean, I like that there's <laughs> I like a zombie that he's like, like, I like my walk into a wall. And yeah, dumb. slow and dumb. Um, I, uh, like, I like, there's a place very much for, for, like, the angry rage zombie. Like, I like that idea but i pulled that to a different standard than i do like your typical mm-hmm. like uh, zombie mm. um and i don't think i like it because zombie is a good it's not so much when they're the dumb romero zombies and they're like the you know that you can easily fight off they're not the intimidating part it's the functioning with everybody else while this is happening mm-hmm. part that mm-hmm. I find really interesting, which is why I like Night of the Living Dead and Day of the Dead, not or Dawn of the Dead, not so much Day of the Dead because it's like too far into the process, but like mm-hmm. yeah, there's that, not like one zombie in that movie. Yeah, like the idea that like that it's it's yeah it's it's crazy because there's this thing out here trying to eat your brain, but at the same time it's how everybody else responds to it that's the scary part. Because then you get the crazy people bring out the guns and are mm-hmm. like, I'm going to make people do what I want because now it's anarchy. Mm-hmm. That would do, like the kind of people that go and steal TVs during riots because they see the opportunity. Or like the idea of having to function with a group of people you don't necessarily know, but because you're in the same vicinity, you've got to get together and figure everything out. Like that psychological, sociological element of it, I really like. Mm-hmm. So I think that's kind of why I like the dumb ones because they're not super scary as much as. The survivors are what yeah. are what's really and, scary. And then, I can understand then you have that, the yeah. survivor interaction and then occasionally a zombie pops in and if it catches you off guard, it is scary because mm-hmm. it's, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But um, but I like it. Plus, it's like, the movie itself is a lot, has made like a lot of like, it was a really important movie to be made, the way it was made, the fact that the main character is a black man and a woman. It's like all these different things about when it was made and how it was made that like are really important c- cinematically. So, mm-hmm. all right. but I like the dumb zombies. If they're too That's clever, funny. then at that point, I'm just like, well, then you're just fucked. Because they're just like, yeah. super, you know, you're super clever. There should be, yeah, like, su- any horror Superman movie, there should syndrome. be a glimmer mm-hmm. of hope all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, there's some way, there's some sort of way you can defeat this. And if they're, like, this ultra amazing thing that, like, is super fast and smart and this. And I'm just like, well, then, at and that point, just shoot zombie. yourself in the basement and, mm-hmm. like, right. let the world end. Well, it's like that one zombie movie where they learn to use guns. D- 
What? Yes. What, what movie is that? Land of the Dead. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah where they start, they're yeah. They're, they're like they're angry literally... at them, and they like yeah. yeah. They're like the zombies are angry because they they held up in a tower. Mm-hmm. And they're like they're yeah. they're surrounded by water on an island, and they're like oh, and the zombies get to through the through the water Godzilla style, where they just like swim underneath, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like walk <laughs> underneath the water. They get up with the guns. Yeah, that movie was a shit storm. <laughs> after like after the yeah, whole zombie a... thing, the people the, the ones that were zombies that don't have a ready like a food supply just go back to whatever they were doing before. Yeah. So you have, like, a zombie gas attendant. (laughs) Uh You know, zombies at, like, the supermarket. Just, Yeah. One thing I really appreciate about zombie movies is the fact that they always have, like, yeah, a zombie, like, in full, like, football regalia or, like, (laughs) there's always a bride zombie. Like, who who dies in their wedding dress, like, and comes back as a zombie? Like, Well, especially if it's, like... But I just like the costumes. Did the zombies start, like, like... Uh, did it happen like in the middle of the night, like it does in the yeah, it, where it's be... like who's wearing their wedding dress in the middle of the night, you know? Uh-huh. Or half um, everybody would be just in their pants, just walking around. Yeah, everyone right? would be in, P- in PJs or in their underwear or naked uh-huh. or something. There was that typical one who was like in the shower. Yeah, it's like the the one extra you could get to like walk around naked so you see their ass, <laughs> uh-huh. maybe a boob if it's a lady, <laughs> or they've got like a robe wrapped mm-hmm. around them or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shower cap on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Shower cap. laughs> so up on a rope and a stick. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's all, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't get that in like other monster movies. Like, there's not a bunch of like a herd of Frankenstein's all dressed as different career options. Yeah, right. It's like Barbie. It's a different. Yeah. There's one a flight attendant. There's uh-huh. <laughs> there's uh, yeah, all kinds. <laughs> <laughs> they tell stories. Yeah, Each zombie that's has I a like. story. How would you, what was your opinion of warm bodies? I liked parts of warm bodies. Uh huh. Um, but as a whole, no. Was it the element of the romance or the coming back from being a zombie that you it had was, a problem oh, with? Aside from that the that fact love that will it cure was all. Uh, oh yeah. Very poorly written and acted and directed. Well, it was like and it was staged. One, <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those things where they're like, "Hey, did you know this is an, this is this is Romeo and Juliet?" Well, did you know? Because we're gonna beat you over the head yeah, with the fact yeah. that this is Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> this is Romeo and Juliet. But instead of being uh, families who hate each other, one's yeah. a zombie. One's not. I like the perspective from the zombie. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. But I've also, like, I've read a couple of different books and seen a different, couple different things done it, where they've yeah. done it better. Mm-hmm. So that lost. Well, I heard from a friend who read the book that the movie was better because they took out, they took all this, like, there's a lot more in the book that doesn't help the book story, like, the story uh-huh. be any better. So they're like, uh-huh. the movie actually is better than the book. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't happen a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was, I mean... It was As being of... an actual zombie movie, yeah, no. Right. But for just being a movie, I thought it was okay. It's well, it's a zombie like... movie like Twilight's a vampire movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Not yeah. really, but you kind of go with Well, it, it does that it's thing It's the too. Twilight of zombie flicks. Yeah. 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 And which it was kind of, I mean, I can sit back and laugh at it and think it's, oh, it's cute. But at the same time, I'm like, that's not realistic. It's not actually going to happen. It's not scary. Right. I'm like, I get it, it's Nicholas Hope, but at the same time, he's going to smell straight up like dead bodies. Yeah. Now, I know you live oh, in a God. society where you're around zombies, so you've probably gotten a little bit more used to the smell, mm-hmm. but how can you take, even if he is a jerk, baby Franco, and, like, let him get eaten, meanwhile, you hook up with the guy who smells like death? Okay. I just don't. Yeah. But he's nicer. Well, yeah, because he's not, literally, there's nothing they have in common. Like, Twilight, nothing yeah, they have in they common. Have, mm-hmm. They ad- neither of them need anything in common because they're both really basic characters yeah. who don't have thoughts or feelings. Yep. I would argue she's the zombie. I liked Ooh. the friend that went. I, I, yeah, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll question me this. Okay. Um, well, and then it's just that thing where it has, like, exactly like Twilight, where it has to put them on the same plane. It has to show that even though he's the zombie who's the enemy, mm-hmm. he's not the true enemy because there's another enemy who's even worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, but the problem with that is, is they're not the enemy are just people who've been zombies longer. Yeah. So it's not really any, like, enemy that's chosen to be an enemy or chosen to be evil. It's literally just a further version of what he well, is. Well, I don't think they pay enough attention to the fact that those zombies that they've been killing for so long really just need a shot or, like, you know, like a yeah, date they or don't something even to bother. <laughs> they don't even bother like, trying to figure out a no. way to make people better. 
And that has no repercussions for almost yeah. anybody in the film. Well, John Malkovich what... looks a little bit sad, but other yeah. than that, nothing. <laughs> well, I just saw the um, the third, the trilogy, the third movie in the tril- the Maze Runner trilogy, the YA book about the... Yeah. And, yeah. of course, the first movie it, where they're stuck, or the first book where they're stuck in a maze, you have no idea it's a zombie movie. Mm-hmm. It's literally... It's a zombie movie? I, yes. What? I watched it. I watched the first movie, The Maze Spoiler Runner. Spoiler alert! Oh, my Anna. God. The book series has been out 10 years. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, you watch the first movie, and you're like, okay, what's going on there's there's creatures mm-hmm. whatever and then it ends with them getting out and the lady's like yes the world's ended and we're trying to find a, a cure for this virus and you're like oh my god this is a zombie movie you find that out in the last two minutes of it right mm-hmm. but you like the, is the setup in the society where yes the world's ended and there's like these zombie they don't call them zombies but they have this this disease and so their goal is to try to find a way to cure it and that's the whole point of this maze by putting kids in a maze. They're, they're, I, they found that these kids are immune to the virus. So yeah. they want to figure out why. So they put them through all these trials. And you can't just part take of a the blood t- sample? I'm not saying it's it's <laughs> it's not, it doesn't have its holes. But anyway, they find they have to put them they have to like do this training. I don't know, this is why they put them in a maze. Anyway, it's attractive young people running around, pretty much is what it is. Mm. Um Lord of the Flies. Effie from Skin mm. shows up and then she don't know what she's gonna do. You never know what she's um, gonna do, right? to be fair. And then turns out she's a scientist and you're like, Oh come on, F. Like really? You're, you're the scientist. <laughs> and those heels. Anyway, um but yeah, yeah. So it's like that idea that there's that book is written in the concept that they're trying to find a cure for it. So many of them are just like, Well, this is our society now. Fuck all the zombies. We'll shoot them if they get near us. But like they don't ever go to the lengths mm-hmm. of trying to figure out mm-hmm. you gotta get a rogue brad pitt in there yeah mm-hmm. just be like hey i'm wearing a scarf and there's my hair not- is long and i'm gonna figure this out there's <laughs> not like a an umbrella corporation that's purposely making zombies for some reason no it's it, they've got the corporation that's putting them through the thing to make the cure but not no is that not the like- resident evils they're making zombies yeah, i they, saw the first resident evil well, but i didn't remember they're making they're making monsters and that side effects into zombies i think Okay. And they're definitely oh. making monsters. I and just they're definitely it's cloning Mila Shmimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
would you yeah i'm you i'm you this week okay <laughs> went overboard we have a quiz to see if we will survive the zombie apocalypse all right okay so uh first pick a tactic there's panicking running drinking hiding uh fortify so like uh Leave. fortify yourself <laughs> get those electrolytes get those gatorades down make a fort pd assure um, are we or, deciding, uh, find a cure are we deciding as a group since we're going to be a group? yeah like, okay. yeah that's so how what zombie we... apocalypses work we start as group a group up. and then okay. we all turn so, on each other i'm sorry since say that was one more time then the zombie apocalypse is happening right now oh Anna. god oh no do we panic do we run do we drink <laughs> our last night away do we hide <laughs> Do we board up the house and make sure it's all safe? Or do we start finding a cure? I don't think any of us are qualified to cure. <laughs> no, 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 I don't believe so. I didn't do that well in science in general. You definitely start fortifying. Yeah, I think yeah, that would be what I would do. Board, like, to start, you board. Like, you could choose to run later, but I think definitely board up board, boarding board up, up and preparing for where mm-hmm. you're at currently. Because you usually like, can only get so far if you're not prepared. Yeah. So mm-hmm. got to come up with a plan. Choose your weapon. You got a shotgun, a baseball bat, a sniper. Exp- assuming that I have all these in my <laughs> yeah. Don't look. Li- <laughs> government, do not listen to this. Do not listen. Hey, April uh, is part of the Michigan militia. Uh-huh. Explosive. Uh, explosives, a flamethrower, a samurai sword, a machete, an assault rifle, or a cricket bat. I'm not sure I know how to use any of these. I would to say kill a human. I would say shotgun. I've never shot a shotgun, but, but that's um, that's you get what two two shots and you have to reload. Right? Oh, that's true. Yeah. I want reloading. something. I would want a weapon that I wouldn't have to get physically close. I don't know sniper rifle. You like physically, like you can't be so close to them, right? Like yeah, but yeah, that I takes mean, you can still skill, shoot them point blank, but. Still, okay, you but have then to... most zombies you have to get in the head. You can't just shoot them in the chest and they'll uh-huh. stop. Yeah, but yeah. you'd eventually get good at aiming, I think, after a while. Well, yeah, after a while. I, I, I just wouldn't want to get physically close. I don't think I have the wherewithal to run up and samurai sword a zombie's head. Yeah. I mean... I'm not that physically mm, I agile. I feel like I would cut my own hand off if I had a yeah. samurai sword. I don't like sharp things. I'm always worried I'm going to cut myself. I guess we need to think of what the rules are because... Guns run out of bullets. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A sword. Yeah, you you that's true. Sharp. And you have mm-hmm. to make sure you have a stack of, and you, if you run out, you have to find bullets, mm-hmm. which means you have to go around but gun you'd places. you have to be able to yeah. take the whole head off as opposed to just bash in the brain. Right. Which is shotgun would come in handy because I mean, that would take a whole head off. I mean, they're already kind of decomposed. You wouldn't think it'd be too you hard. it easier to kill a zombie. Oh, is it too late to discuss what type of zombies we're fighting? Because <laughs> that would definitely play in. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll go with the majority rules because I don't really, I think I'd do equally terrible with any weapon I was yeah. given. So. <laughs> yeah, I would probably go, depending on if I, uh, like machete or samurai sword, I feel. Okay. Because there's no mm-hmm. reloading involved. That's true. Well, machetes are shorter, right? Yeah, but yeah. samurai swords aren't that long either. I mean, and they're much like... thinner, so it would be more of a chance that it would. But they're like super sharp, so you should both be able to take people off, like head off in one. Samurai mm-hmm. swords, mm-hmm. although right? they're thinner, they're supposed to be a lot better made, though. Mm-hmm. Well, do I have made. a certificate of authenticity? I think we'd be. I think we'd be looking at the hack. Pick it up at the mall. I think we'd be like looking at the hacksaw with the mountain range painted on the <laughs> door. We just have to hacksaw the heads off. <laughs> Which would take some time, but I think would be better. I think we just could. run in the line and yeah, it's just like you're like now right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. We have to like keep in step like a like a sack race. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the the axe in between uh-huh. us. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So we going samurai sword? Is that what we're going with? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's what I'm. Let's go with samurai yeah. sword. It's more likely they have a machete in the house, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll go samurai sword. All right. Uh, you're you are trapped by a host of zombies. A so host? no, no, you are trapped by a clusterfuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. What do you do? Uh, let's see. Attack on your own, probably sealing your fate, but giving others a chance to escape. <laughs> uh, give up. It's not going to work. You might as well accept your fate. <coughs> Keep drinking. It's worked so far. <laughs> Climb to the roof and make an a risky aerial escape. With my helicopter? With your helicopter that suddenly flew up. With your weight-bearing drone. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Try to fight your way out or barricade yourself in and pray the army will arrive. If the army comes, they're still going to shoot you. Yeah. Um, Yeah, because they're going to be like, well, now's our opportunity. Well, really, if the army comes in, it becomes martial law. They're more interested in 
killing anything that moves, which yeah. will could possibly mm-hmm, mm-hmm. include you. If you look like a zombie, yep. you're yeah. going to get shot. And I don't. And mean, we like, all know who Deacon looks Pope. like a zombie right. to them. <laughs> if okay. I become a zombie, am I happier in this scenario? <laughs> like, what is the... <laughs> I what mean, is you're the average be, happiness level of a zombie? You're going to be you constantly hungry. Well, I'd rather, I'm already constantly if they came hungry. came down to it, <laughs> I would think you'd have a lot of depression because you do just kind of drag your yeah, butt that around. Doesn't, that going doesn't to, sound like much different than my current life. Do I still have to go to work? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you don't have to pay pay bills when you're a zombie. I think I'm, I might I'd be leaning towards I don't know, I mean, a zombie. It's, 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 I think it's a matter of the pain factor because I would not want to be... Sorry, that was me. I wouldn't want to be like pulled apart or eaten by zombies, even mm-hmm. if it meant I was gonna like turn. I feel in. like that's. I'd rather I'd yeah. rather kill myself, knowing I was gonna die less painful than being ripped apart. Well, in that case, wouldn't you just drink? I guess if that's the you case, just drink everything you could get your hands on, like lighter fluid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the, are the are kind of stuff that, that makes us feel blind. <laughs> um, I, like I guess to, bored up remind, and try. I'd like to say I'd fight. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to say that. Right? I don't Hopefully I, we'll never know. But... Remind me never to go through the zombie apocalypse with you guys. <laughs> what, what's your choice, April? I certainly would nobly sacrifice myself. Oh, no. No. I'm not going to nobly sacrifice myself. <laughs> I don't know. Myself. It was I'm like a gonna... matter of like everyone else leaving, and I was like, okay. I, I don't think I'd be... I don't think I'd be like, I'm the hero, but if it came to this, it'd be like, yeah, go ahead. I'll figure something out. Because mm. I don't really... I'd probably At the end of the myself, day, I if I die, it's all right. Mm-hmm. Barricade. barricade. Yeah, we'll go with barricade. I don't, do a... If I don't have to confront was anything, it? I'm not Make going them to. work for it. If they really want my skin, if they really want my brain, they're going to have to earn it. Do it uh, yeah, boy. Anne Frank, <laughs> Anne Frank style, hide up in the attic. attic. Just don't <laughs> tell anybody. <laughs> you're quiet enough. They don't uh, know you're up there. Maybe they'll just come around and then leave. And then later on, they'll, they'll read your zombie and be like, oh, we should have been better. We should have been better zombies. So. <laughs> Like, yeah, we're never we're, again. We're, re- we're really gonna look like the villains of this book. <laughs> so Zombie we, Nazis. So are we barricading ourselves? Yeah. Yeah, we're barricading. All right. Typical Saturday. <laughs> Where do you go first? The roof, the pub, the subway tunnels. No. The park, the basement, or the street. Why I gotta go anywhere? We're kinda gonna just stay home. Even in zombie apocalypse, you want to be social. God damn it. <laughs> right? Give me my alone time. Oh, that was the point of barricading your house so you didn't have to leave. Right. Um, well, I wouldn't want to go underground, so that cuts yeah. out the subway. Honestly, the pub would probably be the best bet, like Shaun of the Dead style, because at least you know there's stuff there. Right. right. And a lot of times businesses will have um, security. That yeah, your house does bars it. on the window or something. Yeah, I'd go to a, like a, ca- a check cashing place in the hood. Oh, yeah. There so they have go. bars <laughs> on the windows. They probably have guns there for protection. Mm-hmm. There's probably a mini fridge full of coolers. And they don't have, <laughs> I'm not sure they don't have a rule where if a zombie comes in, you guard the money. I'm no. sure they just like get out. They get out. Mm-hmm. Every man for themselves. Yep. So we're going to the pub. Yep. Yep. Okay. There's probably a dairy cream next to it. Yeah. <laughs> if it's one of those pubs that has a kitchen in the back, then you get oh. like all those pub fries and stuff oh yeah. my gosh well, pub food yes yeah chips bags of chips if i'm gonna die i'm gonna Peanuts. die with a full stomach of there you go pub Gr- food greasy nasty pub food. yeah i assume i assume you treat a zombie apocalypse like uh-huh. you do a hangover where you just eat greasy food like you can eat me but i'm full of diarrhea yeah so i'm gonna make yeah it's like eating me is gonna be like eating a taco bell it's yeah. not gonna work out for you <laughs> just like you're like oh no <laughs> uh all right so who is in your crew no one anyone your best friend uh, family, carefully chosen crew, or your lover? Well, it's us, so it's friends. Right? Mm-hmm. I would attempt to get a family member. Yeah. So is that friends Not or all family? my family members, but some of them. We're family and friends here. It's oh, so that's confusing. True. Right? <laughs> I imagine it's, it's like the same thing. Like, because I wouldn't go and find extended family. No, and I wouldn't just hang out with whoever I came across. Yeah. No. It'd be one of those things of like, oh, I know you and you're, you know, and yeah. I want you to live through this with me, so let's right. go. Unless that person was like, unless they were like, hey, I'm a doctor or hey, I'm a weapons mm-hmm. expert or mm-hmm. something. I like the lover. <laughs> lover. Yeah, the oh, lover. no, they're zombies. I must, I must take a lover. <laughs> Love will keep you safe. Love will cure zombieism. Mm-hmm. So I guess yeah, apparently, apparently, according to, <laughs> so I guess carefully chosen crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. that yeah. sounds good. Yeah, like we all have skills. Yeah, yeah. you got to prove yourself. Mm-hmm. Got a limited choice of who. I'd be like, like, what but... about you? What do you bring? I didn't. Ask, I'm the one asking the questions. Don't ask what I bring to this. 
I'm the wild card, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, could, gonna I could turn you guys in and I could I could swap you to a group of zombies for a train in any minute. You don't even know. <laughs> so I'm the wild card. Mm-hmm. All right. A group, a uh, member of your group falls behind and is grabbed by the zombies. What do you do? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you get your whole crew to turn around and fight them off. It's a whole crew. Give them, give them a chance. <laughs> uh, shoot them in the head is the most merciful way. I'd shoot you in the head. Try and pick off the surrounding zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Run, they're done for anyway. Take a long drink from your hip flask and keep moving. <laughs> Jeez, straight up alcoholic. Uh, hurl, <coughs> hurl yourself into the melee, uh, freeing your friend regardless of the danger to yourself. Well, I mean, it if, sounds if, like we're if they like run or shoot them in the head. Well, if they like grabbed your ankle and it was like, oh no, and you can like grab them and pull them. I think mm-hmm. it's. But if they like literally have swarmed with it and they're get about, yeah, like if they're they dead. Are, they're, if, if they're, they're a goner, bit, I'm sorry. Then I then I give you permission to shoot me in the head at yeah. that point. Yeah, mm-hmm. and Absolutely. I think anybody would be like, yeah, if I'm gonna if I'm literally about to be ripped apart or I'm being ripped apart. Just kill me. Shoot right. me in the head. Don't yeah. let me yeah. walk around. Like, yeah. I think running away would, I mean, is you're obviously, but at the same time, if you can spare them, I think that's the better thing to do. Mm-hmm. It yeah. sounds like they're surrounded. Yeah. yeah. So and I'd yeah. say shoot them, because yeah, at least I you're being merciful. kind. Shoot them in the head. Yeah. yeah. How would you get food? Foraging, raiding other survivors, hunting, pets, oh, oh, canned God. food, or fishing? Um... Probably canned, canned food, food first till yeah. that ran out and you yeah. had to do other I stuff. I wouldn't be opposed to hunting. I mean, I don't, the concept of shooting an animal and then like harvesting it like doesn't appeal to me, but I would know I would have to do it. Well, does yeah. the zombie virus I've, affect animals? Oh, that's in true. Is true. Not, is it going to be. Oddly not, like, do you ever, have you ever seen a zombie movie where it, it does affect animals? I've seen a Occasionally couple. Occasionally there'd be, like, a zombie dog and stuff, but uh-huh. never, like, where it's, like... Like, carnivores, though, but, like, deer? Have you ever seen, well, like, no, a zombie deer? I mean, there's deer? that one where they specifically let the dog down with, like, some right, survival stuff. Right, because they know stuff. the zombies yeah, aren't interested. Not, yeah. interested in the dog. Yeah, I'd say if, if we, well, we'd have to get, by, while we're getting through the canned food, we'd have to do a little research and mm-hmm. make sure that the animals aren't yeah we have safe to in that, yeah. post-apocalyptically google this i don't know how you do that <laughs> anymore <laughs> hotspot yeah <laughs> go through microfilm like, i don't know what happened before google i'm out of data <laughs> shit so canned food yeah mm-hmm. canned food all right uh a zombie is attacking you it is the reanimated corpse of your own mother Aww. who birthed you raised you and loved you what do you do shoot it in the head stab it in the head try and get away without killing it let it bite you. It's too much now. What's the point in living anyway? Uh, get someone else to try to kill it so you don't have to. Get drunk. Is that always the... <laughs> yeah. You're already drunk in this It's scenario. at that point it is not your mother. I'd I would, I wouldn't want to, like, draw it out because that would be really emotional. But mm-hmm. if I could... Yeah. Shoot her. Shoot. Stabbing yeah. is more personal. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot her. I, I would join mom and we would do zombie crafts. Ah. <laughs> Zombie she comes at you with yarn. Yeah. Uh, it's like a necklace a made out of cheese. Yeah, we're making a wreath of body parts yeah. for some reason. <laughs> All right. Uh, where do you want to end up? The alleged safe zone, a pub, an army base, the desert, on a boat, or in a forest? I never want to end up in the desert. I think people, this is the number one thing that people in zombie movies do wrong is they choose a bad location to go to. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to go on a boat. Because, yes, you're in the middle of water. However, you run out of shit in a boat. Mm -hmm. You're right. Like, you're just, you're prolonging a death. You eventually have to come to shore. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, the desert, yeah, there's no zombies, but there's also nothing you can do there. There's Mm -hmm. nothing to eat. There's nothing to, like. There's very little water. Yeah, Mm -hmm. like, that's, you're screwing yourself over. Army base, you're surrounded by stressed out people with guns. Yeah, I, base, I, no, would, I like... wouldn't trust the, 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 the powers that be, whether that's the army, whether it's the government, whether it's just a group of crazy people with guns, to have my best interest at heart mm-hmm. at that point. Mm-hmm. At that point, I uh, you're just going from one evil to another, I think. You stay as far away from those kind of people as you can. Yeah. Right? yeah. The, the kind of people that are, like, waiting for something like this to happen. They're like, now's my moment to shine. Right. All those years, my family told me I was crazy because I've been hoarding <laughs> I've been hoarding canned goods, and I found a, a thing that will convert my pee into water that I can drink, and everyone's calling me crazy now <laughs> with their arsenal I'll of guns. Oh, show them. Yeah, and mm. safe zones are never safe. No. no. So, are we going to pub? I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can't fortify an entire forest. Nope. <laughs> Are we going to die? Uh, let's see. It says, uh, will you survive? It says, uh, we got 
drunk, so maybe. <laughs> As we kept choosing pub, I never said I was going to drink at the pub. Oh, yeah, I, just, I guess it just that. assumes that you're going there to drink. Uh, it's a coin toss as to whether you survive. By getting drunk all the time, you're not really making good decisions, but it's entirely possible it will be. It will all work out, which would be nice, but don't hold out uh, hope. Either way, you'll be drunk when it all goes down, so it'll probably be fun. I always think it's one of those things like how when you're drunk driving and you get in an accident, you're less likely to die because you're not bracing because you're drunk. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's mm -hmm. that idea that like if you're not focused on the apo zombie apocalypse, you'll live longer because you're because it's going to kind of go around you because you're mm -hmm. not like fixated yeah. on it. And if you're drunk, maybe they think you're a zombie because you're kind of stumbling around. Right. Anyway. And they're like, oh, they're an alcoholic. I don't want them part of my crew. My main goal <laughs> like, would just be to hold up until everyone else was dead. Yeah. Because I like being alone. I'd be fine with it, just no one else there right right i go and i'd poop in every toilet on the block yeah <laughs> leave them upper deckers yeah <laughs> i judge all their choices eat their kitchen food and then leave yep make fun of their family <laughs> portraits yeah mm -hmm. i could see that for yeah. eternity well for 20 years <laughs> i mean that uh, left to my own devices maybe a decade yeah i Which don't is, make yeah. good choices <laughs> but you'd finally be able to get through your list of what to read and what to watch because no, no new yeah. stuff would be made. Oh, yeah. That's true. So yeah, finally... but I'd also do all those drugs that I didn't do because there's a future. <laughs> right? That's true. <laughs> you'd finally get to see what meth tastes like. Yeah. Silver lining. <laughs> <laughs> this has been brought to you by the pro-meth movement. <laughs> anyway. We should probably be wrapping up. We should. All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Did we ever say who's here? No. We no. don't tell Elizabeth's name, but I never got a mention. Yeah. It's us with our split personalities, because it's your yeah. sister and my sister, and we both kind of sound like each other. <laughs> we all sound like each other. There's yeah. no, in fact, they'll find out the podcast is just one person with a lot of creativity and mm -hmm. ability to throw their voice. Not a lot else. <laughs> Not a lot else. <laughs> Until next time. Danke, bitches. Danke, bitches. Danke, bitches. Danke, bitches. Jazz, 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 jazz